Hey, future nurses. Today, we're diving into a crucial tool in your nursing education toolkit. Today, we're talking about the nursing concept map. By the end of this video, you'll understand what they are and why they're so important, and also how to create your own. So before we get started, make sure to check out the blog in the description below for a great overview of this topic. Now, let's get started. First, let's look at what a complete concept map looks like. A nursing concept map like this one is a visual model that outlines relationships between various nursing concepts. It's kind of like a roadmap for your brain, helping you to organize and connect the different aspects of patient care. These maps can cover topics like patient care plans, medical diagnosis, nursing responsibilities, and more. Now, there are four main types of concept maps that you'll encounter. First is the spider maps. These are the most common in nursing, with the main topic in the center and sub-elements around it. The second is hierarchical maps. Concept flows from the top to the bottom, getting more specific as you go down. The third is the flow charts. These show nursing process in a sequential order. And the last one here is system maps. Similar to flow charts, but with added inputs and outputs. Now you might be wondering, why should I bother with these maps? Concept maps are powerful tools to help you. First, they improve critical thinking skills. Second, they enhance clinical judgment. Third, we see the big picture for overall patient care. And fourth is that they bridge the gap between theory and practice. In fact, studies show that concept mapping can significantly boost your ability to apply nursing knowledge in real world situations. So are you ready to create your own concept map? Let's break it down into three simple steps. So step number one is simply to choose the main topic. This could be a patient care plan, a medical diagnosis, or even a breakdown of nursing responsibilities. Step two is to determine secondary subsections. These are key categories related to your main topic. So for a patient care plan, this might include assessment, diagnostic process, patient history, and even risk factors. Now, step three is simply listing key info for each subsection. Now, fill in the details for each category. So for example, under patient info, you might include age, sex, race, and even marital status. Remember, the goal is to create a clear, logical flow of information that helps you understand and remember complex nursing concepts. So here are some pro tips to make your concept maps even more effective. First, use colors to group related concepts. Second is keep it neat and organized. Third is a big one. Don't overcrowd your map. Focus only on the most important information. And four is to practice, practice, practice. The more maps you create, the better you'll get. These visual tools are invaluable to organizing your thoughts, improving your critical thinking, and becoming a better nurse. Remember, mastering concept maps takes time, so don't get discouraged if your first few attempts aren't perfect. Simply keep at it and you'll see improvement in no time. For more nursing concepts, simply click the link right here. Thank you so much for watching and happy mapping. I'll see you in the next videos.